So we're back for another UFC card. This time we're in Edmonton, Canada. And even though we're in Edmonton, Canada, the main event is actually a fight between two non-Canadians. But also at the same time, do you really blame them with the state of Canadian MMA? But anyways, shots at Canadian MMA aside, we have Brandon Moreno, the Mexican versus the Kurdish Iraqi, Amir al -Bazi. Uh, but anyway, let's get into this card. Let's go to the early prelims, starting off with the first fight of the night, which is Jack Shaw versus Yusuf Salal. I'm going with Yusuf Salal. He is a featherweight, although he has made bantamweight as well. So both of these guys are former bantamweights. I just like Yusuf Salal a bit more in this position. You know, he's improved a lot. Billy Quarantillo is probably better than anybody Jack Shaw's beat as well. Obviously, MMA math doesn't always tell the story, but just you got to look at it. Jack Shaw's had a lot of competitive fights, and they were at bantamweight. Like, yeah, he beat Tamir Valiev, but that was a very close fight. Tamir doesn't have the greatest chin. And then also at the same time, Ricky Simone, that loss has aged horribly. I think he's the last person to lose to Ricky Simone, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, now look at Ricky Simone. He's on a free fight losing streak. Uh... So yeah, that's, that hasn't aged very well for Jack Shaw. I think Yusuf Zalal is going to get this one done. Just style-wise, I think he matches up well. He's a very good featherweight. Good chin. Good grappling defense. Like, one of his losses is literally to Ilya Teporia, where I believe he won the third round. It was short notice, though, that does have to be mentioned. But that's still... Oh, this is very inconvenient. This is... Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go use for Salal to get this one done over Jack Shaw. Then moving on up, we have Jamie Lee Horf versus Ivana Petrovic. Oh, this is a hard fight. Because Petrovic literally lost to Luana Carolina. It didn't look very good. But Jamie Lee Horf, she lost to someone really bad as well. Who did who did she lose to? Who did who did Jamie Lynn Horf lose to? It was someone really bad that she shouldn't have lost. Okay, no, 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 never mind. It was Veronica Hardy. Veronica Hardy's actually on a really good streak at the moment. She's doing real good. Oh my god, man, who do I pick? I I would take a loss to Veronica Hardy over a loss to Luana Carolina any day of the week if I'm being honest oh my god man who do I pick oh but then Carolina's now on a good streak I so don't know uh, everyone's going with Ivana might as well follow the fucking grain I'll go I, I don't know either of these women I'm gonna go with Ivana I'm gonna go with Ivana Petrovic the Croatian to get it done then we have Chad Ali and Helga versus Cody Gibbs in these fights. 13 and 7 and 20 and 10 in the UFC bantamweight division. How has the division got to this point now? In Chad, in Chad's, you know, Chad, literally called Chad, in Chad's defense, literally went like 2 and 5 to start his career, so it is pretty cool that he's got this. But when you think about it, 2 and 5 at this point in his career, I mean, to start his career, he did go on a good run of things. And it was mostly getting subbed. You know, he wasn't getting knocked out every fight or anything like that. It was stuff he could come back from. I'm going to pick Cody Gibson, though. I think Cody Gibson's actually not too bad. But, you know, he's given he's given some tough guys a tough goal of things. So I'll go Cody Gibson to get this one done. Then we have Sahi Sadi, Sadai sorry, versus Garrett Armfield. Both of these guys are very good boxing. I thought Sadi beat Ramon Tavares. Oh, this is actually a difficult one. Because Garrett Armfield does have moments of brilliance. But then he also he got beat up and finished in his last fight by Brody Heastand. Oh, this is a tough one. I'm going to go Sadi. Oh, I'm going to go Sadi. I think he'll get this one done, but Jesus, man, I'm not confident with this one. Then we have Alexander Romanov versus Rodrigo Nascimento. Now, Nascimento's only got two losses. One of them is literally Chris Dorcas, but these are not grapplers who are beating him. And he did grapple... Oh, 
my god. See, this is another tough one because Romanov generally has moments of where he looks like complete dog shit. Because he looked really fat in a lot of his fights and then he just gets destroyed. But Volkov, are we really going to use like a Volkov loss, a Jelton Almeida loss, a Tybora loss? Like these are way better fighters than Chris Dorcas. So I'm going to go Alexander Romanov to beat Nascimento. You know, Rodrigo Nascimento, I, I don't think he's that good. He's just beat shit guys. Then we have Charles Jordan versus Victor Henry. I'm going to go Victor Henry. I don't think Charles Jordan should be fighting at bantamweight. I don't think this is his weight class. He shouldn't be down here. Who's the majority are going with Jordan? It's near even. I think Victor Hugo, he is a bantamweight. He knows what it's like to be at that weight class. I think this is an awful move for Charles Jordan to move down to bantamweight. He's never really been because he's outsized that he's losing these fights. I mean, we've seen him get wrestled back by Nathaniel Wood, and that was at featherweight. So I think Victor Henry's going to get this one done. Then we have Ariana Lipsky, my wife, versus Jasmine Jezudovicius. Uh, Lipsky is like, on a, she wasn't like a good run of things. Then she did lose to Kareem Silver, but are we really going to use a loss to Kareem Silver against her? She beat Casey O'Neill, which is a pretty good uh, win when you look at things. Beat Melissa Gato. I'm going to go... Oh, Jasmine Javuda Vicious. She just looks so slow sometimes. She's on a win streak at the moment, but... I'm going to go Ariana Lipsky. She just looks so fast. She's a quick fighter. I think she'll have the speed advantage. So I'm going to go Lipsky. Then we have... Zahabi's fighting Pedro Munoz? I didn't even know that was a thing. But this fight's probably going to stink. This is probably going to be a really boring fight. Because both of these guys are pretty slow starters. Hmm. Wow, the majority are really on with Zahabi here. Jesus. Typologies. Hmm. Both of these guys are pretty old. Didn't he lose to Draco Rodriguez a couple years ago? No, he beat him, okay. Mm. It's a tough fight. I'm going to go Pedro Munoz. He's a veteran. He's beat, he's fought much better level of competition. I think Pedro Munoz will win this. I know he's, oh, but he lost to Kyla Phillips. But Kyla Phillips is normally pretty good. Like, he's losing to, he almost beat Marlon Vera. You know what? I'm going... I'm going Pedro Munoz. These two aren't even like that big a difference in age. Maybe we get a, a Zahabi robbery, but I think Pedro Munoz gets this one done. Then we have Mike Malott versus Tevin, Trevin Jarvis. These two actually fought in a grappling match a couple of years ago. Mike Malott beat him then. I think Mike Malott's more powerful. He's got very good hands. I think he could clip Trevin Giles. I think he could wrestle fuck him. I think he could sub him. I'm going to have Mike Malott to get this one done over Trevin Giles. Uh, Giles. Then we have Mark Andre Barriol versus Dustin Stolfers. I'm gonna go Mark Andre Barriol here. Uh, the power bar. I think he's gonna win this one in Canada. I think he'll be able to beat up Dustin Stolfers. Uh, he's not a bad fighter. He's got a good gas tank. He's also he moves forward a lot. He pressures forward. He beats people up. I'm gonna go Mark Andre Barriol. We have Kai Machado versus Brendan Brenson Ribeiro. Oh, Kai Machado is moving down. I'm going Brenson Ribeiro. Kai Machado will not succeed at light heavyweight because he's a fat heavyweight moving down. He doesn't have a good skill set. He's going to get chinned by Brenton Ribeiro. We have Derek Lewis versus Jahante Dinez. I think Jahante Dinez will probably win this because I don't think Derek Lewis will wrestle with him. He's going to try and land big shots. I think Dinez will land on his chin. I think he will finish Derek Lewis. We have Roy Namajunas versus Aaron Blanchfield. I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go Aaron Blanchfield. She's too big. She's got takedown defense. Rose will shit herself for the takedown defense. We've seen Rose Namajunas versus Carla Esparza. This is a five-rounder as well. Aaron Blanchfield will get her down. She will be able to beat her up. Rose Namajunas will shit herself because she's fighting a wrestler. Then, Bre oh my God, Brandon Moreno versus Amir Labazi. I'm going to go Amir Labazi. He seems to be in better shape. He's had a lot of time off to heal from injuries. 
I know he definitely lost to Kaikara France. Like, that was a genuinely horrible robbery. But Moreno looked horrible against Roy Bell. He didn't look good. All he had was an overhand. He didn't have the jab anymore. I think Amal Albazi will probably... I think Amir Albazi will get this one done. He's got good hands. He's very compact. I think this will stay on the feet. But I think he will be able to take down Moreno if he needs to. He's got good uppercuts. He's got good weapons that he can utilize against somebody with the striking of Brendan Moreno. He's got a sneaky good uppercut. Albazi does. And with Moreno, he's always bobbing, moving his head. I think Albazi will catch him with an uppercut. Not knock him out, though. He's got a Moreno's got one of the best trends at featherweight, uh, flyweight. Sorry. Uh, I think Albazi will mix up the wrestling. I think we'll have a back and forth fight. But I think at the end of the day, I think Emil Albazi will have his hand raised. And will probably be the next one for the winner of Pantoja vs. Asakura. Unless he maybe fights Roy Val in the meantime. So anyway, those are my predictions. Let me know who you guys have winning in the comment section below. Make sure you share this video, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. I sped through that at the end because this card is sort of horrible. I'm not going to lie, so I just want to speed through those predictions. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Adios. Goodbye.